you say the point of the rumor that came up with you giving the chairmanship to a particular person yeah. mm. yes as i said i was also aware i had heard and i knew a lot of things that people were saying by way of interpreting interpreting my condition i see yes sir we come from a community a society where nothing happens for nothing that everything has a causative effect or to use a big word a metaphysical reason uh, reasons that we don't know mm -hmm. so that's why in africa or in ghana people go to soothsayers to find out the cause of this or that or that and and number two in our african thinking or not just that in the old testament uh, dealings they associated sins problems and sicknesses and things of that sort to sins that people had committed you know that beautiful story in john chapter 9 where they met jesus and his disciples were traveling and they saw this blind man what the blind man needed was compassion he needed people to have compassion on him he needed he wanted to find a way to jesus knowing that if he got to jesus by all means his question or his problem of blindness will be resolved but when jesus and his disciples got to this man you know what they asked the apostles who, the apostles yeah turned and asked jesus who sinned yeah. who sinned somebody in pain in difficulty who did their compassion they began with judgment they they judged him straight away that somebody must have sinned that's why he got into that condition but jesus came in to say neither he nor his parents nor any others are for the glory of god so number three we have a cultural outlook that assumes that good things should not happen to bad people neither should bad things happen to good people so if something bad happens to a good person they try to find out what the cause is mm -hmm. yeah i'm not perfect but i know i'm a good person i also know that about 99.9 percent .9 of all of you listening to me and Ghanaians know that a person to me is a man of god he's a good person mm -hmm. so then why should this happen to me they cannot associate it with anything divine but god's plan mm -hmm. so what did i hear the stories were very many and told from different angles but the summary was simply that god had crushed me he had knocked me down because god through a prophetic message had appointed a chairman for the church but i a person to me refused to give the chairmanship to the one who was so named in the prophecy yeah so there was a prophecy and that a person to me did not uh, hand over the chairmanship to the one who was named in the prophecy that's why god has crushed him mm. but they don't know many <clears throat> many don't know about uh, the 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 election share electioneering system of the church when somebody's name is mentioned in the prophecy the executive council would sit down and discuss it and accept it or not so the executive council headed by, by myself we met including the person who was named in the prophecy that is our own beloved prophet je amaya my very 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 good friend he was also part of the executive council so we discussed the prophecy and 
the executive council accepted it now the second stage of proposing somebody's name to become chairman was to meet the electoral college the electoral college in the church is all the apostles and prophets area heads national heads missionaries all of us constituted or constitute the electoral college so when the executive council brings somebody's name to be considered for the post of a chairman the electoral college also discusses it and then at that level we vote and we needed we would need only a simple majority mm -hmm. if there were 50 i mean 100 people 51 must say yes mm -hmm. so we didn't reject prophet's name we didn't throw his name aside apostle to me did not say let's not pre present prophet amir's name we sent it and then the council voted if you are there to see the votes it's so it's it's it's, it's so surprising 53 uh, 55 voted against him that's no and 53 voted for him three people did not vote so only two marks two two simple votes separated uh, from the mayor from going through so if those three people who didn't vote had voted maybe we, we don't know what uh, so. so please beloved members of the church of Pentecost a person to me didn't refuse to present prophet Amir's name we presented his name at the executive level and then at the general at the elected electoral college level he couldn't make it so we had to go back propose apostle professor Pokunina, who went through and then ended at the third stage which was the general council proper and he won so please uh, i would like to say that many of those who say these things say it out of ignorance my problem started in 1992 in ivory coast when we were going on a trek we were involved in a car accident my wife's collar bone broke into three and it affected my spine without my knowing and i carried those pains for nine years until i became chairman and the workload increased and the problem also increased uh, to a point that i couldn't even stand for more than three minutes mm -hmm. so these things had gone on for um, how many years it, 92 six solid years before you know i got into this condition when i went for the surgery the, the doctor looked at my spine saw the spinal cord and told me that doctor and to me you've waited for far too long when i perform this operation you are going to lose the use of your hands and feet but they will begin to recover so the doctor told me all this and i agreed so so um if i thought what people of the church of pentecost should be doing was to pray for me pray for us ask god for his grace instead of sitting somewhere to, to judge somebody even insulted me and he rained down curses on me and all that but for me you ask about my reaction when i see those things i don't bother because i know they don't know <laughs> and that if there is that god will forgive them so that he doesn't punish anybody because of what they keep saying so when things are happening when you don't know the cause or the origin i think it's better to keep quiet uh, than to spread information which may not be true oh look at people going to battle at the time of king jehoshaphat and they saw the armies of moab and Manseh and all these assyrians against them 
the trump the musician started trumpeting pray give thanks to the lord because he is good and his mercies endure forever and as they sang both song, that song there was confusion in the joint army joint army of uh, their enemies and they fell killed each other so that is my favorite song. god is good uh -huh. sing to the lord he is good and his mercies endure forever god bless you and bless you indeed amen <laughs>